Hi, this is not a normal video, but it will, I, I'm setting out to clarify two things. The first is avatar, audience, niche, and target. That's the avatar, the audience, the niche, the target. The second is going to sound a little strange to people who are not in the target. It's death. <sighs> many professional nurses, many people who, like doctors, nurses, people who are, who have the privilege to see the end steps in life. Yes, you have the people who will fight it, the patients, the people who are dying. They will fight it to that very, very last core. And at that last breath, they have a choice to accept or to fight. All right. I have been dead several times in this lifetime. Uh... 1991, a truck came around the corner, imploded into my vehicle, squashed the van around my feet and my being, the top of the van, which is the driver's side, because I'm in Australia. The driver's side came in and pushed me back onto the chair, which actually moved the chair one foot backwards. And I have the photos to prove it. What did I find? It's beautiful. There was no umbilical cord, there was no passing through a light, I just went poof, that's it. It's beautiful there, but I am in no hurry to go back. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to relate this to the very first experience of death that I saw whilst nursing. The patient, we were told to go in because it's the first day on the wards, if the patient was lying on his bed and you had to go through one security door and into another and, and of course I had trouble tying up my shoelaces which made me late. So I come in, came through and as I'm coming through the second door the patient levitates from the bed which I, didn't scare me, I'd seen it once before, there was spleen injury when I was doing first aid and um, he levitated. He sat up, so now he's sitting up. He reaches beyond, way beyond my head, and he takes something, and he just literally, he glowed. And there was just total acceptance. So it was a total acceptance of an invisible gift that none of us actually saw, because how can you accept forgiveness? How can you see that someone has accepted forgiving themselves and loving themselves and has now that clear bridge to pass over? I understood it, but I didn't know it. Not at that time, because nursing, you don't say that sentence. You might now, but this is way back in 1983. So... When I died, I had no memory of anything other than this beautiful, beautiful place and the voice that was talking to me. It was beautiful. It resonated. It went through me. There was no light. Well, there was light. It was glowing, but there was no darkness. There was nothing there but peace, quiet or quiet but the voices were there. There was, I couldn't even say there was people there. I knew there was presence there, but it was like a nuclear fusion thing where the cells go boom and there's so much light. There's, there's no shadow where you are. You are not shadow. In this life, we have shadow. We have things that we need to dust, but there was beauty in this. Not in a hurry to die, but 
I am looking forward to that peace, that, that beauty that there is there. So for people who are struggling with, oh, am I not good enough? You have that goodness in you. you know, maybe you have seen relatives or people before they've passed on. And I say passed on, the physical body dies, but they move into another place. It's where I've been. And like I said, this will suit and know what a very small people. Those, you could say, would be my target audience. Right? But the people out here, way out there, they don't, it's not the message for them, is it? So they could be over there, the people who may be terminal or know someone who's terminal or are going through grief. That would be my niche. But this targeted message is one message that will sound weird to the rest of them, but to that little tiny bit of people, it's made for them, isn't it? And hope, comfort, and knowing knowing that there is a beauty there. I'm not saying go rush it. I don't want to do that. But when that moment comes, there is the choice. Like I said, many health professionals will have seen this. And it's yes or no choice, isn't it? That's it. So... That is my experience, that is what I know, that is what I dare put on this video. Like I said, audience, niche, target specifics. So when I write, I write not only as an autistic person on the spectrum, somewhere within that spectrum of autism, I also write the wealth of knowledge of post-traumatic stress syndrome, I write with having no memory, none. My brain would not allow me to access 31 years of my life. It's taken 25 years to start. It's taken the community I am with at the moment as a member to help me through to connect and it's only recently I've realised that, and I'm talking in the last two weeks, that I am good enough and that I am allowed to love myself. I have brought my first 31 years, my next 25 years, melted them together. And recently a truck came, oh, it wasn't a truck, a car came around and I was travelling too and I chose life. I chose to survive. I chose to swing around the back of that car. That's a big difference. To be able to choose life, to have that choice. The truck incidents, I could only call out to my friend. And I believe that's the one that took me up. This time I was given a choice of life. And to have that life was amazing. To have that choice was amazing. It's like, wow. There's many things in our lives we, we have the choice of doing. There's many things in lives that people don't have the choice of. That you know. You cannot be with their, in their mind when they make that choice. Because it's a a forever choice for them. It's a very personal choice. But accept please the fact that it's their decision, that last choice. And even if they've been the world's worst criminal, this man that um, levitated, sat up, he had been in prison isolation for near on 40 years. He 
made the choice. Physical isolation because of what he did returning from the Second World War. And to see that, it was powerful. So to those of you that message us for and targeted others, this message is for you. Live in hope, live in love, and know that these people passed on, each and every one of them has that privacy and that right to have made their final decision for an ever after. None of us will know that until we pass over and actually make our own decision and see them on that side because they will be waiting. you for listening. This is Susan. I write for Susan the listener. Just have a wonderful day and a beautiful life and live it to the very last degree. Make that decision. See you later.